this, this, this is the deck we're gonna be looking at today. Um, yeah. I've got, I've got quite a couple things to say about this deck of cards. Good and bad things. We have our pros and we have our cons list. Don't worry. We will get to that. We will get to that. Just to talk about these a little. So these are the Fontaine Holographic Edition. The box is great looking. I love the box so much. I love the back design. I love basically everything about how they look. There's embossing on the parts that aren't holographic, like the Fontaine and the logo and all, every everything, um, which is a great sense of detail, except I think they had to do that because of how the holographic um, design part works, because they're also like that on each individual card. They are embossed out word. First time looking at these um, yesterday when I got them and played around with them, I didn't like them. Um, to be honest with you, I did not, because if you take a quick look, take a quick look at this ace, you can actually see the F on the Fontaine on the outside, on the other side. They are so thin. They're so incredibly thin. Like, it's nuts. Um, and it's not really a good thing for me, because I don't really like cards being that thin. Um, but, yeah, right out of the box, they like, you could squeeze them as if you're about to do a spring, and they they could do that really easily. So they were like really, really thin, um, and not the easiest to fan around with. Now they're a bit better. Um, I think that's just because of the holographic part. But they were so thin, and they still are. Like, you can still see the F. I don't know if you can actually see that. I'll try and get a close up. Um, but you can, you can see the F on the other side of the card. You don't really want to see that. So I was upset about that, not gonna lie. Don't like the cards being that thin, but now they kind of grew on me. By the way, that ace though, look at that ace. It's pretty dope looking. Um, even that, even that is like embossed. Embossed, I don't know. Um, Cause it's outwardly embossed, so. I but I honestly love the deck now. Uh, I still don't like that they're so thin uh, cards. That's really my only con to this um, is that the cards are super thin, um, like really, really thin. It's like, so cards have three layers, the front design, the back design, and a middle layer. It's as if they're missing the middle layer. I don't know if that was pur purposeful or not, but I don't like how thin they are. Now the box, they also weren't as clean cut off the press. They still aren't. It's like they like, I don't know. Like they they cut them with scissors or something I don't know it just didn't seem like they were cut that well um, at least a couple of the cards I like the deck I like how they're not just like a mirror but they're like they're like a back of the CD so you can see like a rainbow or something um, it looks really cool I really like the design I just don't like how thin they are um, how thin they are the cut when I first had them out of the box and that's about it I think I don't know overall good deck and I like it. Um, definitely worth the buy. There's there's a certain feeling to them. They're smooth still. They have air cushion finish, which is nice, but like there's a certain like, like, like plasticky feeling. I guess again, that would be the holographic part, but it's not enough to be like, ew, this isn't Fontaine or ew, this isn't USPCC. Like it's still, it's still good. It's still um, a really good deck of cards, um, which I'm surprised. So yeah, they did a really good job. Those were my only real two complaints. And the fact they did nothing with the faces. They did nothing. It's standard all the way through. I was a little disappointed with that. Um, not gonna lie, they didn't even put like good jokers. They have this, and guess what? Guess what, guess what? Another one. So it's like, really? Could have put like a double backer, like something. The only thing they customized was the ace, the space. So like, I kinda like that standard, but like, you're not gonna go around using this for magic and stuff like no one no you're not gonna do that um, so like customize the faces at least so I'm a little disappointed that they didn't know about that so those are the cons um, really no custom faces a little rough on the edges right outside the box more than usual uh, too thin 
and too thin for me. Um, they feel a little odd. But all in all, I do like it. The pros outweigh the cons, and the pros are basically everything else of a good deck of cards. Um, so I do like them. And uh, yeah, that is the Fontaine Holographic Edition. Um, they've started shipping out. I've seen a couple people already have them. Mine just came in yesterday, um, today being August 24th. So yeah, it was a good surprise to have them early. They were supposed to come today. Um, but yeah, that's my, that's my review on them. I like them. I do. Just some cons. There's, there's some cons.